it will continue to try to keep the anchor. And if I set it flat, then it, it rotates with it. Oh, let me stage this a little bit. Let's put this book on the shelf here. They didn't make it to the next round. They were eliminated yesterday, but okay, so show immersive space. It's not actually going to do anything there. I just needed to have the immersive space. I didn't actually need it. I could have built this in the regular one. And then I'll come here, grab a book off the shelf, and then this should anchor a menu. Oh, let's see. So it's hard to see there, but let's look at it over here. So you can see this menu. Also, just like some test stuff here. So this circle is here. It jumps around because I didn't set like this content height. So it's a little bit jarring, actually. So that would be something to fix as well. But it's anchored to this book. So you could see it will refresh. And there's a thing where like it, does, it refreshes like slowly. So it's not that smooth. And then show a video, and this should open up a frame. And then I can play this. So this is one of my shorts on my other channel. Uh, this but... was discovered playing a different sport. It wasn't soccer. This isn't a joke about it being called football outside of the U.S. He was discovered playing tag. There was a team called Phil Athleticos with an assistant. I can, uh, I'm going to talk over this. So it's just going to play in the background. I should mute it, but... Seeing... This is older brother. At the yeah, Nessus. you can see... It's going to continue where he first saw him. He did. Let me pause it actually. So it's going to continue to, it just stays anchored right there. It just continues to be anchored to the book. And then it will continue to try to keep the anchor. And if I set it flat, then it, it rotates with it. And yeah, I can, yeah, pretty fun stuff there. Yeah, there, there were some challenges, which I'm going to talk about right here. This took longer than, much longer than I expected it would. I missed last week because it wasn't, it, I didn't get it to a place that I wanted. Some of the parts were pretty easy. So like this, the book anchor, the, that actually is, um, it, there's a lot of stuff that is actually just, just use the library. So the AR kit library. Makes it pretty easy to anchor to an image. So I knew that from like playing with it before. And then the UI view, this is the, I would say the, the stuff that I really feel somewhat comfortable with. I still need to learn the syntax, but I'm pretty familiar with say like HTML, CSS, and then I'm okay. Like putting a UI view together, I understand parent and child containers and that sort of thing. And then the video player, I knew I could just reuse something I had before. And then all I had to do to create this demo was just mix the things together, but ran into some issues. And then I thought, all right, well, I can make a menu and then just put it where the speaker is and then I'll be good to go. I learned about this thing like attachments, so I thought that would make it even easier. And then I was able to get it to work, but then it was doing this where it, it was attaching to where that sphere was so it was attaching to the anchor but it was attaching horizontally so if you imagine this if this book was a menu then it was like this it seemed like not that big of a problem i thought i just need to rotate the menu up either that or i bet actually that's the improper way to do it i'm guessing there's a proper way to just set like the orientation of how it gets attached to the anchor I couldn't find that quickly, so I thought, y let me just do like a hacky thing here. All I have to do, take the surface like this and then rotate it. No problem. No problem. Unfortunately, ran into some issues. So I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm just going to do some kind of translate, transform, translate, something like that. And then what that did, so this is supposed to be my head facing this way, but it started to take this say this is a menu again and it was just like rotating it around me so yeah just rotating around me instead of or like up like this instead of just rotating on its own axis or like rotating in place then there were times where it was just like i would try things and what i'm showing here is yeah it would just like maybe yeah it would 
do the same thing, but the units are sometimes different where it's one of them does like metrics and then another one is using some other course system. I wish I could talk about the nuance right now, but I don't fully like grok it. Yeah, so it would just be like off somewhere like in space, like truly probably I, I probably had it set 10 meters away or something like that. So it was pretty frustrating pretty satisfying I, th- there's definitely like some benefit to debugging and then you're learning some stuff there but there's also diminishing returns at some point it would have just been better to have found a solution talk to someone who knew how to do this they show me and then i can move on to the next thing but roughly it just yeah creates an anchor and then it's hard-coded to recognize um where is it this asset it recognizes this book cover so then that is set in the anchor here as like a Let's see. Let me go. Reference image somewhere here. So image info. This is where it loads that image. And then it's able to just recognize that book because the book covers that image. And then down here is where I (laughs) fuddled around with some of the views here and then the video and then reused some of the video player from a previous demo. That's that. Thanks for checking this out.